Mm -hmm. I was uh, just looking at the duties of police. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, the duties of police in any country mm -hmm. are to preserve the public peace <laughs> and to protect persons and property. Yeah. Now, violations of laws come to the police attention in one of these ways. Citizens, complaints, yeah. reports of, of police officers, mm -hmm. pick up or on view arrests by officers, complaints made direct to the city or county prosecutor, sheriff, judge, or by information mm, from other police agencies. Now, a police officer in an average United States city works one of three shifts. Yeah. The day shift, which from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. The night shift from 4 p.m. to midnight. Mm -hmm. And the midnight shift from midnight to 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. He begins his tour of duty with roll call. Mm -hmm. During it, his sergeant or captain gives him the day's instructions. Mm -hmm information on wanted criminals uh -huh, and other information to help him while on duty. <laughs> now, uh, looking at the duties of the police, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're the sergeant. You're the captain. It's a roll call this morning at 8 a.m. and you have information of a crime. <laughs> Now, I would say that uh, you receive information about crime, yes, uh, in one of these ways, right, uh, a citizen's complaint. Mm -hmm. Now, it's possible that you could consider an email a citizen's complaint, yeah, a report of police officers. Let's say there's a police officer in any police station of the United States, mm-hmm. Or they know of forgery, poop, fraud, ooch, or felony. <laughs> Any police officer can inform you right now mm -hmm, that they have knowledge of a crime and that you as a police department have to enforce the laws. Yes. Now, complaints made direct to the city or county prosecutor. Mm -hmm. That would be Mark Nichols. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or uh, the prosecuting attorney, Hawes. Yes or any of the individuals in the prosecuting attorney's office. Yeah. The sheriff, Sheriff Bill Benedict or Sheriff Stanko. <coughs> I had personally emailed the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department. Yes. That my rights were being violated. Yes. <laughs> the use of forgery when issuing court orders. Right. And that my sons are in the wrong grades and they have been kidnapped because... <coughs> of the use of the disillusion of marriage where I was not given any notice of court hearings. Mm -hmm. And then there are the protection orders where there was no jurisdictional law to issue them. Oh, <laughs> then judges. <laughs> now, I have emailed Judge Brian Kogenhauer, what could be hundreds of times. And since he's the Superior Court judge, he did not have any pending cases involving myself. Yes. Yeah. Now, for every judge in every county of the state of Washington, pooch, I went through the court directory of the state of Washington. Oh. Now, or by information from other police agencies. Let's say you're in the FBI. <coughs> I emailed all the field offices of the FBI. Yes. What could be thousands of times. Yes. Let's say you're in Homeland Security. Yes. I emailed all the field offices of Homeland Security Coach. Mm -hmm. Now, this information from other police agencies. Mm -hmm. I emailed the railroad police. Yes. I emailed the Amtrak police. Yes. Yeah. I emailed the Department of Justice. Yes. I emailed um, the park rangers. Right. I emailed the Department of Transportation. Right. And for some reason, no one has given information to the local police department of any knowledge of the violation of the laws of the United States. <laughs> now, usually, I try to be a problem solver. Yes. But today, mm -hmm, I'm going to be a problem causer. Yes. I'm going to cause so many fucking problems today. <laughs>